What's up everybody, and I really am kind of late on this Monday Night Raw review since there's a lot of information that has been gone to the past two days, and since I didn't really have any cable to even watch the show Monday, I didn't really watch the show until the next day, since I kind of found it was the last show in the Nassau Coliseum in New York, and pretty much they kicked off the show with a 10 bell salute for Memorial Day, so... It was a good classy move for that, as to pretty much start off the show with the authority coming out. Talking about why does Ambrose even need a title shot? They deserve no title shot. And his fans saying, we want Ambrose, and you're not going to get Ambrose. And the authority, we could have fired him if we wanted to, but nah. They, they, we need to do something a little more concrete. As Triple H Trimmer says, there's a contract, and Ambrose has to the end of the night to sign the contract, just walked down here, but Ambrose came out, people went nuts for Ambrose then, he talked about Seth Rollins and he has, they all are just sheep and everything, he talked about JJ Security, calling them hobbits, because when he gets to champion, he wants a lot, and pretty much he called Kane a lapdog, and that Ambrose, what, drunk text, uh, Selena Gomez, and then he started chanting Justin Bieber, at uh, Seth Rollins, like, oh, first you call me a sellout, now I'm Justin Bieber, is it? and says, at least Justin Bieber's rich, he has women that want him and stuff, and then pretty much he called Rollins a cockroach, Ambrose, and, wait, no, he called Ambrose a cockroach, and all they do is just survive, but they never win, and pretty much he dared Ambrose to sign the contract, Ambrose was about to go down, he said, oh, right, we're doing this the fun way then, he was going to the ring until Roman Reigns came out, and um, pretty much Stephanie McMahon told him that you guys are going to be in the main event. It's going to be Rollins and Kane versus Ambrose and Reigns, which is matches happen. I don't know how many times, but just I'll forget the main event. We'll do this match right now. As I see people trying to hate on Booker T again for commentary, talking about since if somebody wrote that being an Indian giver without signing the contract, but I don't know why. What people get mad at? It's ever since that whole Owen Hart thing. People just like to rip Booker T on commentary. Yeah, Booker T sucks on commentary. Don't get mad because he says all this stuff. And pretty much since that match pretty much went on this tag match, Ambrose and them pretty much got the win all over Rollins, pinning him. So that happened. And since they were talking to Dean Ambrose in the back, Jay just security, he had the scares the conscious. Oh, we don't get the contract. And pretty much making fun of Ambrose. Ambrose is like, oh really? And they pretty much start. He started beating up Jane Security. And then, like, the cameraman tried to hit him or knocked into him or something. Ambrose punched the ca cameraman and said, Oh shit. And I guess tried to help him up Up after that. Rusev went against Truth. Rusev won. And then he called out Alana. He says, We have to that's what talk about. We have to talk. Why do you go kiss this Ziggler? And that. He forget. He cares about Alana. And after the whole WrestleMania and I quit match. Um, Lana Bruce says, everything I do, I do it for you and stuff, do it for us, and pretty much Rusev took Lana's hand and, and then pretty much Rusev only needed Lana to say these three magical words, I was wrong. As Lana pretty much said, top of, Lana pretty much got ready to leave, Rusev, no, you said, you cannot leave, I own you, I own you, and pretty much Rusev said he owned her, but Lana called him a, you're a stupid liar, you're a liar and a quitter, and called him a musical, cool, caveman, whatever thing, and went up to Ziggler and kissed Ziggler at the top of the stage, which people said Stephanie McMahon, like, pretty much tried to emasculate Rusev, as Rusev just looked pissed, saying, no, no, so now they're arguing over Lana, um, Triple H and Rollins are in the back talking to Ambrose, they about the cameraman with two police guys, and pretty much arrested them, and pretty much Ambrose said, well, the cameraman tried to say he was pushed, but Rollins tapped him, just, that's, what just, that's not what you're supposed to say. And pretty much they arrested Dean Ambrose and threw him into the paddy wagon and rolled off. Ryback went against Barrett, Ryback won, nothing like to say about there. Good cast the entourage, we're talking to Stephanie and Triple H in the back. Good said something about the whole Ronda Rousey thing, and they kicked him out. Um... One of those guys from Arrow was there. 
uh, one of the guys from Arrow or Star of Arrow was there as he never went on Stardust, never won. Bo Dallas came out talking about a bird picking himself up from an injury after never, Adrian never won the match, and Bo Dallas kicked him since they're having a the match on Sunday. Um, the entourage guys are walking through the locker room and everything. I saw the divas. And then when I was talking to Zach Rice, I said, You got to the final raw in this, event, in this arena tonight, man. You got to do it big. As people are really chanting, We want Ryder woo 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 all night. And I don't know. The divas just laughing at all the entourage went in the room with Ryder to talk. Ziggler went against Sheamus. Uh, Sheamus won. Pretty much Rusev kind of came out and distracted him. And then Rusev just hit the accolade on him and beat the crap out of him in the ring. His lineup pretty much looked on and stuff and walked away. So I don't know how long we're going to keep this Rusev line thing up. We are just going to make it out of this whole thing. And as if and Sheamus was alright. Cena came out doing what he could to put over the whole Kevin Owens. And Cena match off fight Owens fight and let's go Cena. But people started chanting we weren't writer and everything. We talk about what's going to happen this Sunday. And then he's going to take down Kevin Owens after what he's done. He's going to take out his best friend in NXT, breaking him in half. And he's talking about fight Owens, fight or win Owens, win. And he wanted people to chance to let's go Cena or fight Owens, fight, he says. And we're going to see who will finish this Sunday at Elimination Chamber. And But now it's time for the open challenge. As the cast, the entourage came out and says, anybody's open, so which one of y'all four want to come down? But pretty much none of those guys about to fight. And Zack Ryder came out, got the big pop as the match pretty much went on. One of them tried to get in the ring and do something. But he probably has to see him get back out. And this match was really quick anyway for Zack Ryder. Even though this would have worked three or four years ago, Zack Ryder finally getting some type of shot after they buried him so badly. He finally got some type of a shot tonight on Raw. But it just doesn't cut it anymore. And yeah, this was his hometown, and he got the big pop. But it's probably maybe the only time you ever get to see Zack Ryder get this big of a pop of anything. Because I, I keep forgetting Zack Ryder's in this company half the time. They buried him. He was big in 2011. But after that whole thing, and after the U.S. title, it just went downhill from there. Uh, Stephanie and Triple H were talking about Kevin Owens. Well, at, pretty much after Zack Ryder won the match, Kevin Owens came out. And pretty much pop up power bomb John Cena in the ring, step on the US title again, just walking away with the NXT title. Um, the bell is out on commentary as Paige went against Tamina, Tamina won, and I, I don't know, I think the crowd was dead. Nobody didn't care for this Divas match. And I said, it's the last night in there, nobody cared. Nobody cares about the Bellas or whatever ridiculous face turn or whatever face turn they had because they're not faces. I, I don't know how many times I gotta keep saying in these videos, but I think everybody gets the point. And uh, yes, it's a triple threat match between Nikki Bella, Paige, and Naomi Sunday. But yeah, honestly, just get a new champion at this point because I'm tired of it. Want the Bellas doing whatever around here. The New Day came out, which somewhat kind of woke up the crowd after they were asleep over the old Divas match. Woke up the crowd somehow, just taking cheap shots at them. And Kane came out saying that you're going to face all the other teams. Face all the teams, pretty much. Uh, pretty much just the New Day. All New Day versus Primetime players. King Cesaro, Matadores, Lucha Dragons, and the Ascension, which didn't really kind of go anywhere. And pretty much, surprisingly, they won by DQ the New Day since everybody got in the ring and attacked the New Day. Everybody just beat the living crap out of each other. And pretty much the New Day was kind of the last one standing in the ring once everybody jumped out of the ring and attacked each other. But uh, Ken Cesaro got back in and took out the New Day and pretty much they stood tall. Uh, Miz will be interviewing, or actually I didn't even know Miz was still there, I forgot, but he disappeared for a second. We'll be interviewing Daniel Bryan this Sunday. I guess something to do with the kind of title, maybe he'll give more update about his injury. So we'll see about that. The authority came out, talking about the respect they should have and all that stuff, and Ambrose said, all right, it's the end of the night, but Roman Reigns came out and attacked them, attacked all the authority, but the, pretty much the numbers took him out, and then the siren sounds, the paddy wagons, Ambrose came out in a police outfit, which we've seen him do this before, come out with something like the Coney Island hot dog thing, 
and beat it all in with a nightstick and pretty much him and Reigns took out Rollins and beat up the rest of the authority members and stood tall. They've got him coming out with the paddy wagons like, is he supposed to be the new Stone Cold Steve Austin? Because I need Jim Ross in. Saying Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold. Yeah, but um, the whole last night in Nassau Coliseum was was good, I'll say that. Even though it was tag team match and the show was alright. But we'll have to see what happens in the Elimination Chamber because I got a lot of other news I need to talk around. But I'm not going to do this for you. The only thing I can say is this. Is that ROH is going to now be on Destination America. How ironic. Still TNA is still on Destination America. TNA has not been cancelled. Like I said. These are rumors before. I don't know how many times I have to say it in these videos. But we know that what the deal is and stuff. So ROH getting a deal on Destination America. Which comes on before TNA Impact Wrestling. Which will be next week June 3rd on Wednesday. I don't know how that's going to work out. I don't know. what This is weird now. As I've read a lot of this information today. But TNA will find a way to survive and still be on there. I'm not counting TNA out yet. So, we got two wrestling shows on Destination America. It's more to marry you. It could generate more ratings for both shows. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'll give you more detail about that another time. Once again, it's me. It's me, the HWOD, coming at the news and reviews. You know I am, know I do. With the show, I go. Can I saw it? And now we're done with this review of Monday Night Raw. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.